De Leon presents a play, A Line in the Sand, stories about the U.S.-Mexican borders. You know what else? We can't even tell who the smuggler is. I saw this production at a conference uh, in Arizona maybe three years ago, and it is a, um, a collection of stories of people that have crossed the Arizona desert. Some of the crossers have made it to the United States, others have not. So the, um, the uh, monologues are about the people that have lost people uh, crossing the border. It's a very touching um, presentation and we're going to do it with faculty, staff and students. There's five of us and we're doing it in a dramatic reader's theater format. The presentation's words are very powerful and moving. Try to identify the bodies of migrants who have died in the desert. Excuse me, undocumented border crossers. We don't call them aliens anymore. People who die in transit. Last year in 2004, in just this area, there were 124 migrant deaths. This year there was already 109 migrant deaths. It's only August. This year we ran out of room in our cooler. We had to rent a refrigerated truck. 64 of these deaths occurred just last month. We try to identify people as best we can, and we get the Mexican consulate involved for just about every suspected border crosser death. When we did it um, two years ago, it was for students that were coming to campus. There were 250 students coming for a literary festival, and I remembered how powerful this, this text was, and I suggested it to the coordinator and said, you know, maybe I could get um, faculty and staff to, to dramatize it for these students. It only takes an hour and she agreed. But now that the issue of immigration has become such a big, big concern for many of us, I thought it was more than appropriate. I'm from El Paso, Texas, which is a border town, so I do have ties to borders and understanding this issue, and I've grown up hearing about it. And to be involved in this really truly made me understand what these people go through to come into our country just to work. So what is the message behind this play? I think they will have a better understanding of the need for uh, reform immigration reform, and also to have a better understanding of what it is that people really want to come and do here. They really want a better life for themselves and for their families in Mexico. They want to be able to eat, and that's basically it, that people have needs. And not all the people that are crossing are bad people. Not all of them are terrorists or murderers. These are decent men and women who want a better life. I think it'll build awareness and make others understand how big of an issue this is and maybe look into it more and to really understand and maybe offer help or be a voice for those that are trying to come into our country to work. Immigration is a harsh subject. As the struggle continues, all one can do is raise awareness for now. This is Kevin Rodriguez reporting with your Alamo City Times.